Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a Pop! OS VM in Proxmox. To get started, navigate to the Proxmox web UI and get logged in. Then we need to navigate to the Pop! OS homepage and download the installation ISO image. Back in the Proxmox web UI, expand the Proxmox node name, then select the target storage device where we're going to upload the ISO. Select ISO images, then click Upload, and select File. Browse to and select the Pop! OS installation ISO, then click Upload. Once the installation ISO is uploaded to the Proxmox host, we're ready to start creating the VM. Right click on the Proxmox node name and select Create VM. Give the VM a unique ID and name, then click Next. Select the storage device with the Pop! OS ISO, then select it and click Next. Leave the defaults on the System tab, then click Next. Set the storage device for the virtual disk, and set the disk size to at least 30 GB, then click Next. Set the number of CPU cores to two or more, and set the CPU type to Host, then click Next. Set the memory to 4096 or 4 GB, then click Next. Leave the defaults on the Network tab, then click Next, and click Finish to create the VM. Select the VM from the left navigation menu, then click the Start button at the top right of the screen. And finally, click Console so we can see the visual output. Wait a few moments while the Pop! OS Live environment is loaded. Once you reach a desktop, the Install Pop! OS dialog should start automatically. Choose a language, then click Select. Choose a country, then click Select. Choose a keyboard layout, then click Select. Choose the Clean Install option, then click Clean Install. Select the QMU hard disk, then click Erase and Install. Input a name and username, then click Next. Enter and confirm a password for the account, then click Next. Set the type of disk encryption you'd like to use. Now wait as Pop! OS copies and installs files. Once the installation completes, click the Restart Device button. Once you reach a login screen, log in using the username and password you set up during the installation. Choose a dock layout, then click Next. Configure the top bar, then click Next. Click Next until you reach the Appearance option, then select Light or Dark Mode and click Next. Choose if you'd like to use Location Services, then click Next. Set your time zone, then click Next. Click Skip, and then start using Pop! OS. Launch a terminal from the dock. Run sudo apt update to update the software repositories. Followed by sudo apt install qmu guest agent. Then shut down the VM. Navigate back to the Proxmox web UI and select Hardware, then double click the CD DVD drive and select Do Not Use Any Media and click OK. Optionally, select Options and double click QMU Guest Agent, then check the box to enable it and click OK. With the settings changed, start the VM and go back to the console. Log back in using the username and password created during the installation. Welcome to Pop! OS, running as a Proxmox VM.